Hi friends, this video is a review on the Clinique Moisture Surge Sheer Tint Hydrator with SPF 25. This video is not sponsored, let me start off with that. Um, I did buy this product with my own money over a month ago and I've been trying it ever since. So I thought I would come on here and uh, let you guys know what's worked for me and how I apply it and just give you guys a little review on the product. So if you wanna see all of that, stay tuned. So first, let's get into the claims on the website, and then we'll get into a little bit of the product review and how I use it. So first, let's have a quick story time, shall we? Okay, so what is it? A tinted hydrator, it's really a tinted moisturizer, um, that provides 12 hours of hydration, complexion, perfection, and protection all in one. What it does, it's powerful hydrating ingredients including hyaluronic acid and activate activated aloe water keeps skin plumped and dewy for 12 hours a sheer tint perfects and covers a wide range of skin tones sweat and humidity resistant formula le leaves skin with a fresh natural finish all day oil free so what they're saying on how to use it is in the AM, apply directly to clean skin or over your favorite Clinique moisturizer. A little goes a long way, squeeze a, sm a small amount and warm between fingers and apply it to your face. Um, and then also they mentioned that it has no parabens, no phthalates, uh, no fragrance, just happy skin. So this product comes in this 40 milliliter tube and um, it retails for uh, $49, so it is on the pricier end. It comes in five different shades, and those shades are supposed to work for a variety of different skin tones, so they're supposed to easily blend because of their uh, technology, their blending technology that they claim this product has. It's supposed to blend really well with uh, a variety of different skin tones. Um, I have Universal Light, and it blended really well into my skin. I've been using this product for over a month now, and I've actually really liked it. It's very similar to my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, which I think is one of the best mo tinted moisturizers on the market. Um, so I find that there's quite a bit of similarities between uh, this Clinique uh, tinted moisturizer and the Laura Mercier one, you know, especially when it comes to the coverage and um, the thickness of the foundation, the tinted moisturizer itself. So the one thing I, I just want to, you know, remind everyone, this is a tinted moisturizer. So you're going to get like sheer coverage. It's meant to, you know, kind of blend into your skin and give you that light coverage, that skin-like no makeup makeup look so you won't really get that coverage of blemishes or redness so you'll have to go in with a concealer but it does cover minor redness pretty well so if you're just trying to you know have like a casual day where you want to like look a little bit put together but you don't really care about getting that full coverage i think this is great you can just use it on its own fantastic but, you know, for, for a regular day, for me at least, I like to put a little bit of concealer under my eyes to kind of get that brightness. Um, and just around my nose, I tend to get really red, especially with the masks and like the winter season coming, I do get really red around my nose. So I do like to put a little bit of extra concealer on there for some coverage. So how I wear this product. Let me start off by saying, in my mind, and this is just me and my opinion, just my my simple opinion but um i always 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 prep my skin for makeup application i know i say this all the time but it's really important for me to make sure my skin is set up to really blend with whatever makeup i'm about to put on my skin whatever powder or foundation so even though this has the word like this is a tinted moisturizer or hydrator as they call it I do not care. I will not put this on my skin right after I wash it. This will not be my moisturizer. I go in and I put, I wash my face, I put on my, my serum, so like my vitamin C in the daytime, I make sure I put that on. Then if I really want a little bit, my skin feels a bit on the dull side, I'll add a little bit of hyaluronic acid and then I put in my moisturizer, then my sunblock. Then I wait for all of that to really soak into the skin and then I start applying my makeup. I know that this is 25 SPF, this uh, tinted moisturizer from Clinique, 25 SPF, great, 
love it. But that is not enough for me. I like a 30 SPF. I'm very fair, so I need that protection. So I'm looking for a 30 SPF to a 50. 50 is ideal. So my sunblock already has that 50 SPF. So the fact that this has 25 SPF in it, bonus, great, love it. So my skin has been prepped for makeup application. I put on my vitamin C serum, uh, my moisturizer, and my sunblock. So then I wait a little bit of time until that kind of absorbs and soaks into my skin and now I'm ready for makeup application. So like I mentioned, this comes, this uh, tinted moisturizer comes in this 40 milliliter tube and I don't really use that much. Um, I just put a little bit on the back of my hand, just like about that, like a pea size amount. And you could use your fingers to apply this like um, a regular moisturizer, just kind of, you know, blend it into the skin with your fingers. You can use a beauty sponge, but for this, I'm going to use this uh, flat foundation brush from, from Morphe. It's so soft, really like it. Um, so I'm just gonna use this to apply it because the um, product is so blendable, I really think that the brush works really well, but I have tried it with my fingers and I've tried it with a beauty sponge and it works just the same, it's great. So what I do is I like to spread spread it out on the back of my hand a little bit and then I just start applying it in the middle of my face and then I start blending it out in circular motions outwards. And what the thing I love about this product, it is super blendable and it works so nicely to kind of blend into the skin now, just keep in mind, this is a tinted moisturizer. So, you know, you're not going to get that high coverage that you'd get from other foundations. Um, I, I like this product because it really makes my skin look skin-like and like I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. It gives it a nice healthy glow. Um, but when it comes to covering redness and blemishes, you still have to go in with, with uh, concealer for a little bit of extra coverage. So I have blended this all out into my skin and here it is. You have a really nice glow. Like I love this little glow that I get here. And you can tell like there's like some areas that could use a little bit of coverage. So I will go in with uh, concealer under my eyes just to add that brightness. Um, and I'll go in with wherever I have, wherever I know I have redness, which is around my nose, I will put um, some concealer on there just to kind of make sure to, to cover that up a little bit. So overall, really like this product. Um, I've been using it for over a month, like I said. I like how beautifully it blends into the skin. I like the wearability of it, how it lasts throughout the day. It doesn't separate, it doesn't get patchy. Um, so I really like that about it. I do use um, a little bit of setting powder, but I've been doing that with all of my makeup lately, just very lightly with a fan brush. Um, I apply a little bit of setting powder, but the dewiness still comes through. Like you can see it now, there's still some, some dewiness to my skin. Um, I do love the wearability. Um, I, I've worn this for, you know, 12, 14 hour days and it lasted really well, even with a mask. Uh, so it, it, it has a great wearability. I've even worked out with this on and you know, yeah, you still sweat a little bit, but it still stayed on afterwards and, and it looked nice. My forehead does tend to get oilier throughout the day out of all of my parts the areas on my face my forehead is the one that gets oily so um you know by the end of the day that does have a little bit of extra dewiness to it and i say dewiness because i don't want to say greasiness because it does not look like that it does not it doesn't have that greasy feeling or that greasy look to it so it does have a bit more dewiness than the rest of my face but I mean, it's not really bad enough where I'm like, ooh, that's greasy, I don't like that. Um, and even when I blot my face with this uh, tinted moisturizer on, it still lasts really nicely. So I will definitely be repurchasing this um, and continue to use this, especially through the winter months. So for my final thoughts, I would recommend this product, especially for people with combination skin through the dry skin. It's supposed to work for people with sensitive skin, but you know, that's never a guarantee. So you gotta try it out. 
do a little patch test, see how your skin reacts because everybody's skin is different. So, you know, I have combination skin. It might work well for me, but for somebody else with combination skin, it might not work as well. So, you know, just like with every single skincare product and beauty product, makeup, you have to try it for yourself to see how it works for you. Um, I highly recommend that you do your skincare routine before putting on any makeup, including this tinted moisturizer, really important to prep your skin. Make sure your skin is nice, like nicely hydrated, nicely moisturized, and then protected with sunblock. Sunblock is a non-negotiable. Always wear sunblock, rain or shine, does not matter. Protect that skin. Sunblock is the one thing that actually works with, you know, helping with anti-aging and, and that sun damage. Now, make sure you prep your skin. I'm serious, make sure you prep your skin. And then you go in with any sort of foundation or moisturizer. You will notice a difference. You'll notice that your makeup lasts longer throughout the day. It blends nicer into the skin. It sits nicely on the skin. I've noticed a huge difference in my makeup wearability and blendability since I have been putting on my skincare first. Now, but make sure you wait a little bit for that skincare goodness to soak up into the skin before you go in hard with the makeup. So just give it some time, let it soak, have a tea, have a cup of coffee, have a drink if it's evening time and you're going out with your friends or on a date. But just let it soak in into the skin and then go in with your makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button to see what videos I come up with next. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys tried this product. How did it work for you? How do you feel about it? If there's any other products you'd like me to review or anything else you'd like me to do a video on, let me know. Talk to me. Let me know what you want to see. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.